Good morning, everybody. This is how I do it. Walk around here with this thing. This is how we film everything. Give you a glimpse of the poker player uniform, which we've got for, you know, pretty much every day. We got the comfy sweats. These are super comfy. I think they're H&M. These shoes are comfortable, slip on, easy. This sweater is good, especially for the 25K. If I decide later, you know, I want to button up the top to uh, avoid going with the hat, going with the clear rims. Because uh, I don't like wearing hats and glasses together because I think it's too Jamie Goldish. But hey, I got I need the glass to see when I play poker. So um, we're going with that. And the clear ones, I don't know. They don't bother me as much. And then underneath, got to get you a pair of these, yo. So hang on. How the hell? Right, there we go. Look at that. Muhammad Ali. Look at that. Right there. Muhammad Ali. The new line of contenders clothing. Uh, undies. You got, I, got a, I got a pair or not underneath. Contendersclothing.com. Use... Kid Poker 20 to save 20% off. Got the t-shirt, the underwears. This brand of underwear is comfortable as all. I show them for you, but you know, then I get all these comments about showing your package, which is whatever. I saw Kevin Hart do it on Instagram and other people, and no one complained, you know, but then if I wear underwear, people go get all pissed off. I don't know. Weird world we live in. So anyway, 25K day two. If there's an hour and 20 left of re-entry, we have a good stack-ish. We're not playing crazy. Um, although the game itself, the nature of the game is crazy. Uh, we didn't really have breakfast today outside of one of these. Okay, I'm not selling these. I'm, gonna be, I'm just like, whatever. They're called No Cow. And this is like a little, uh, cap, like a bar, like a little chocolate bar. And it's got 12 grams of protein in it. And it's a tiny little bar as well as half a cup of coffee in there. Uh, or the equivalent anyways of caffeine, which we're going to need, um, had a good day in hockey yesterday. If you checked out, well, actually, the last four days in a row, I think we've won every day in NHL hockey bets. I think I'm up around seven or eight units on the year, which is a lot better than last year. We got killed last year, and now I want to warn you, I'm not a professional hockey player, but if you want to sweat, sweat my picks, go to my Twitter account, at NHL Hockey Bets. I post them every day before the games, uh, you know, and different numbers depending on what we like. Uh, so it is almost time to go, so let's do that. Let's go. Let's get the stay started. We got Tony G we over here right. going all in, all in pretty much in the dark every hand. Ace There's Makito, he's calling ace 10. Did you pass ace? He's I'm on favorite. rebuy. I'm How many rebuys so far, Tony G? I'm the favorite. Okay. Ooh, I had King Jack. This is bad. I'm lying. Come on. Boomski. You got her in here. Yeah. You How much you got? 865. No, you don't. <laughs> So when there were six players in the tournament, right, they were gambling. This gentleman right here made the over under 72. Yeah. So for now we're at 86. Every single time a new player enters, he just loses $10,000. So he's hoping nobody else plays. <laughs> this is getting, getting no, expensive. <laughs> so it's worse than you think, okay? Because my friend Richard here, he's got pieces of these guys that are rebuying. So he's putting them in to 25K. But every single time, it costs them 35k. <laughs> that's not good business. <laughs> yeah, that's a stupid business man. <laughs> that's a stupid business man. <laughs> okay, rebuy period is over. We did not have to rebuy, and we have 4.75 million in chips. The average is about 2.7. Um, I'm gonna give you a hand breakdown. I'm a little set with myself. Totally. I don't know, man. I need to gear up and focus. 
Uh, also, I wanted to share one other thing. We'll go outside here and get some fresh air. Um, so now, I, I didn't know this, but they're going to be filming for the TV table. Well, thanks to Crotch Ripper, uh, you know, that guy who cheated on the stream or his getting bull cards, we have to give up our phones and all electronics, give it to them. So that means this phone, so, and, and my actual phone. So that means I won't be able to, <coughs> I don't know, do a lot of filming. We'll have to like, get it on breaks or something like that. A little annoying, but hey, just kind of like the TSA thing, you know, where somebody does something stupid and then everyone has to suffer for it. So, Postal, how about that? All right, now onto the hand. Like I said, I'm not very, I'm new to this game and I'm gonna have to need to focus better because I made a stupid mistake here, partly out of just fear and I don't know what else to call it. So, I don't know, four way action. Uh, 25 ante, 50 on the button. First two players fold. I have queen jack offsuit, pretty strong hand. I smell weed. <laughs> pretty small hand, pretty strong hand. But I limp. Richard Young's behind me with a ton of chips. I start the hand with close to three million, including my little lammer thingy. So I limp, he raises 200 more. We call, so there's about 550 in the pot. There's 550 in the pot. Flop is jack, nine, eight, two hearts. I don't have a heart, I have jack, queen, right? of top pair and a gut shot. I check and Richard Young fires 500 right away, which is like a pot size bet. And Richard is not one to like mess around, you know? So Richard has a strong hand and I know that. Um, so the question is, what do I do, right? So the options are all on the table. Call, peel, fold. I don't know, which just seems silly. And jam, right? Which just get it in. Like if he has aces, we're still like 40%. If he has jack 10, we're 45% to win, 17% to tie. Because like I said, the equities run so close. Well, I just, I don't know what I thought. But like, I just folded, <laughs> folded the hand. He showed me his hand because he was very proud of it and he had a good hand. He had jack 10, right? So he had, you know, top pair open and straight draw, very strong. We had top pair queen kicker. Um, so again, s small mistake. Well, no, it's a pretty good mistake in this game. But anyway, good news is we got lucky after that and uh, we got a fighting chance here to do well. Um, yeah, so I guess the phones go away for a little bit. Um, I came out here for some fresh air and I smell weed. <laughs> I like the smell of weed. If people smoked weed in my, near my, I have no problem, but cigarette smoke is just disgusting. Blech. Yeah, definitely weed. All those dudes. Woo, smells good. I think everyone out here is smoking weed. I don't even know if it's illegal here. Is it legal here? All right, we're about to get mic'd up, get started over here. You can see, well, there's cameras, cameramen. Jibs, the whole deal, um, and this is the table. Uh, this will be it for you know you seeing me film stuff for a little bit because phones are gonna go over there, both of mine, and uh, I'll try to grab it on break and give you some updates along the way. Now it's playing for keeps. No more lammers, no more rebuys, and uh, I gotta focus because, like I said, you know I'm new to the game and I shouldn't be just playing an automatic. I have to think really really think and I didn't think about that queen jack hand long enough all right end of the phase which we're on the TV table we played for two hours we're on break right now yours truly up to about 6.1 million looks like about 22 players left 17 will make the money we're in good shape there food wise we gotta eat my name <laughs> so uh, looking good you know playing good feeling good got my buddy Phil Ivy at the table with us for now you know he's trapped me a couple times I trapped him once but uh, so, you know, no friends at the poker table. All right, buffet looks busy. See what we can find. Oh boy, at the buffet. Dun dun dun. All right, Alan. Everybody loves it now. They got the chainsaw corner. They want to know what you're most upset about today. Uh, this guy came to our table in the mini main. He hadn't seen how tight I was playing. Mm. So I made a move with Jack Ada Spades for my whole stack. Oh my god, that's not like you. And a cutoff, and he called me from the What an asshole. With Ace 8 Officer. Nobody ever Unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yeah, he didn't know you should have told him to check the blog. I said when he turned over his hand, I said, obviously you haven't been at the table. He yeah, just, or you yeah, obviously you haven't been around poker for 10 years. Right. You know? Yeah. Brutal. Sorry to hear. Okay, so we're no longer at the TV table. We have a question from my friend Phil, right? Phil. Okay. I know you're like, what's worse, being on the TV table or having to be away from the TV table where I get my camera? This one. You'd rather be on the TV table? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so whoever had bets on it, there you go. <laughs> okay, so casino rule is you're not allowed to smoke in here unless you're. Hang on. What the hell? Right. 
zoom out. Must be that dude right over there. Oh, oh, I'm pointing the wrong way. Yeah, that dude right in the back, smoking a cigarette, and can't do nothing about it because I guess he's a, a, a losing. I mean, what a dick! Just go outside, you dick. You're just a dick. Like the period, dick. Ten feet away, go outside, you dick. Okay, we are back on the TV table. 15 left, 17 get paid. You know what that means? I gotta put the phone away. So uh, we're gonna make the money. Uh, about five and a half, six million. About average. Um, I just sit in that seat, but he's in my seat and he owns the place, so I'll wait. All right, he's he's having his dinner. This is the gentleman right here who owns the place, Mr. Leon. And uh, how many rebuys did you do? Just two bullets. That's it? Not bad. Not bad. Tony G got you beat by a lot. Yeah. Tony G is out. Yeah. There we go. Just waiting for the resets. Okay, so we squeaked into the money, 16th place, got it in with King Jack of Spades against Ace Queen, pretty close, and uh, we didn't win that one. Uh, I want to talk to you about a bluff that I ran, but I've only got about 12 minutes here to jump into this turbo bounty thing, because Reg closes in 15 minutes. So, um, hold, hold that thought on the hand, and I'll get it to you on a break. All right, I got a hand history, and I ran into this guy again, the bounty man. So. I'm gonna tell you about the bluff since we got time. We'll do it in the elevator with these gentlemen if that's okay. Because I gotta go make pee and stuff. Six, work? all right, what? I thought you need internet for this thing? Or well, I mean later, I got this figured out. So here's the hand, people. It's short day, so it's crazy. Everybody limps, I'm on the button. These guys, tell me if you think this was really bad. Everyone checked me, I have king of clubs nine, okay? Four or five limpers. There were four limps, check, check, check to me, I bet 250,000. There was 6120, so it was probably like quarter pot. Third pot, two callers, it's all good. Two callers, so I have the king of clubs, the nine. The flop is, <laughs> let me start again, because that was crazy. Okay, limp, 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 limp. I, ch I check with king of clubs, nine of hearts. You're flop in the big is, line? I'm in the, the button, big line, yeah. Okay. So the flop is 10, seven, six, all clubs. So I have the king of clubs and a gut shot. Check to me, I bet 250, which is about quarter pot. They both call. The turn is a queen, now I have a double gutter. I need a jack. You know, fingers. I check, check. I bet, hand, check, check. I bet six fifty. They both call. Nerve is an ace. They both checked me. I bet one point two million. First guy folds a set. Second guy had eight nine flopped straight, and he called me. So, that was the bluff. So anyway, that one cost me about a third of my stack. But Alan Kessler didn't seem like that was the worst play ever. So, what's in that? He says. Okay. So, yeah. So that was the key hand. Um, had a lot of outs on the hand. Um, just the guy had two good of a hand in his range to uh, fold. But based on the fact that they were not aggressive on flop or turn, hey, what's up, bud? Hey, how you doing? So, felt like a good spot to triple barrel. Didn't work out. And then, uh, again, from there, I squeaked in the money because I folded the jacks and the queens. Sure, we could have doubled up there, but I think, I mean, again, Phil Ivey said that the queens were too good to fold. I should have jammed, but I'm not so sure that's true based on stack size and ICM and all that. Um, you know, like if I was just playing to win, period, probably just gamble. But uh, I don't know. It seems like taking the 40K euro makes sense when it's almost guaranteed. So we squeaked ourselves into this turbo bounty. Uh, we've got good position right behind the button, which is good. Start with 25K, the blinds are one and two. So 12 and a half bigs, not a lot to work with. So the first hand we play is probably going to be the one that we need to win. Otherwise, uh, it's off to watch a big day of Saturday hockey. Jack Hughes got his first goal today. He's on my fantasy team. Big deal. I don't know, I'm a huge Jack Hughes fan. Go, kid, go. We're all in, and he's in trouble. He can't, you can't win. Ha, 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 same hand. Okay, we shoved sevens. We shoved eights, got those through. And now we just need clubs to free roll the guy. Now, chop it up. C'est la vie. C'est fini. <laughs> okay, we, uh, I think I might have, didn't really play this hand too well. Make a long story short, six eight small blind, big blind, six eight of clubs against aces. Flop was queen seven six. So we had pair three straight. Short chips, you know, you only start with like twelve big blinds, something like that. So that's going to be the end of the day. The plan right now is to sweat some hockey. Um, it's pretty early. Sweat some hockey, have some dinner in the room, probably chill, do my introvert thing, which is you know 
hide for the most part. It's a pretty uh, exhausting day mentally, you know, short deck, my second time playing, having that cash, not too shabby. I did like, I did tell you guys that I did put a lot of study into it because I was really looking forward to that event. Um, and uh, yeah, so there's like, it's Saturday hockey and for me in my fantasy league, there's so many things to like sweat. We have a regular fantasy league. I created a champions league and I also created, this is the coolest thing ever, like a survivor format where we play the TV show Survivor within our hockey draft. It's crazy, because I have a weird brain for stuff like that. Because I've always liked games and different things ever since I was a kid. Real nerdy, like you have no idea how nerdy. I'm like, revenge of the nerds. So uh, yeah, overall a successful day. This should put us in the plus column so far on the trip. And uh, lots of big events left. Um, uh, 25K tomorrow, 3 p.m. start. We will, uh, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see how we feel. We're gonna probably stay up a little bit and watch some hockey, as I said. But uh, that's the end of another day. That's, uh, that's pretty much all I got, yo. So, I'm trying to think if I forgot something. Oh, it's reeks of weed in here. So much better of a smell, like this marijuana thing. Fantastic compared to cigarette smoke. No issues with you all who do the, the puff, the puff the magic dragon thing. All right, so you know what I should do? Go to the gym, which is right over there. But nah, not at this hour. See y'all.